we came up with a short list of plays. We discussed it with our old Royalist Association of Dramatists, and we uh, settled on uh, performing uh, the Three Musketeers. D'Artagnan is like there are so many sides to him. He's a very lovable character. He is very brash. He gets angry. He gets happy. He gets. He's he's just a big ball of emotion. As a woman. She's not the stereotypical woman who waits for someone to come and rescue her or, you know, change her into a better person. The cardinal doesn't see the things he does as sort of a downside. Uh, so, essentially, what the cardinal wants to do is unify it's France. It's still a very uh, acting-heavy uh, production. The play is The Three Musketeers and it's centered in 16th century France. Uh, King Louis XIII uh, is in power and the Three Musketeers are the King's Guard. They are the King's elite corps, the elite unit of um, guards. Porthos is he's like an absolute riot. Uh, he's, uh, he's a bit of a big presence, so uh, there's, no, there's no holding back when you play him. He's pretty hilarious. That time in France, the most um, feared and experienced swordsman. That is what's unique about them is that while when you say musketeers, the musket is a weapon, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a gun, uh, like a rifle, but the musketeers romanticize swords. Singha and I've been doing drama since 2016 in Royal College. This is the first main role I've ever played. Did you leave home at my age, sir? Yes, and for the same reason, to be a musketeer. Oh, I dream about it every night. Fighting duels, defending the king, standing up to the cardinal. Stop! What? Never say that. Uh, my name is Akasha and I'm playing the role of Constance in Three Musketeers. Oh dear, are you all right? Help me, sir, please! Two men are after me. Why, what's the matter? I've done nothing wrong. I swear. You're shaking like a leaf. They want to kill me because I served the queen. Interesting story. This is the first time I'm playing a speaking female role. I've acted for the last five years in school and I've never played a female role. And this is the first time I'm playing a female speaking role. I must to the queen at once. She'll be sick with worry. Wait, what's your name? Constance. Constance von Sia. What's yours? D'Artagnan. Hi guys, my name is Kai Saleh. I'm playing the uh, role of the evil Cardinal Richelieu uh, in The Three Musketeers. Well, 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 your majesty, how delightful to see you. Cardinal Richelieu. And I'm joined by... Uh, my name is Amaya Fernando and I play the role of Milady, who is uh, an assassin in the play and I work for Cardinal Richelieu. Should I thank you for that? You should thank me for everything. Basically, I do all of the Cardinal's dirty work for him. So whenever he needs something really evil done like murdering someone or seducing someone uh, or stealing something i'm the person he comes to tomorrow at noon a young woman named constance bonacier will be at the rue hatchet carrying certain letters the cardinal wants them at any cost you are to stop her and acquire the letters he's sort of constantly scheming he's sort of the puppet master of the whole show and he puts all these different different pieces in place. And my main uh, sort of lackey, my main sort of sidekick is a character named Rochefort, who is the hilarious uh, captain of the Cardinal's Guard. Whenever he messes up, that's when uh, Milady comes in. No! You fool! This is not the time to draw attention to yourself. You have work to do. Besides, He's very pretty. I may want him someday for a house pet. Hi, I'm Imad. Uh, I play Porthos in Three Musketeers. Uh, I've been acting for 
roughly six years. I think the last time the two of us acted together was 2016, 2016 for our public production around the world in 80 days. I don't think this is advisable, but that's the understatement of the century. <laughs> it was symbolic. What do you call that symbolic? Stealing the Cardinal's night. Captain, it's a reminder. A reminder of what? Hmm? That his head is cold. A reminder that he's not invulnerable. That he isn't the only power in France. Hello. That the king is the king and he has us to back him up. Athos! We're surrounded! Hi, I'm Madara and I'm uh, playing Athos, the chief musketeer. And uh, I've been doing drama at college for around uh, five years now. Now where is Athos? I'm right here, my good man. Oh, you're hurt. Sit down, sit down, you poor fellow. Who did this to you? Oh, it isn't serious, I assure yeah, you. Of course it's serious. There's a lot of emotion involved all throughout. There's a pretty, there's a deep story behind it. Uh, and added, there's quite a bit of sword fighting, yes, dancing. Uh, elegance into our characters and I had a bit of a challenge because I'm right-handed in nature, but my character requires me to fight left-handed. So practicing to sword fight with my left hand was a bit of a challenge. You have a good heart. Thank you, sir. It's a musketeer's heart as I hope to prove someday. They are the three musketeers, they are the greatest swordsmen in France. So uh, I guess the challenge is on top of that to make it look like really great. Like you need to add a bit of flair here and there. I mean, they are the best. So that was a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ashik Dole and I'm the director of the 2019 Royal College Public Production. I want you to have something that is my beloved. <laughs> Buttercup! The finest animal that ever walked on four legs. My name is Praveen Jayasundra. I play Aramis, who is one of the three musketeers, and I'm also the cast leader of the cast. My this. three greatest musketeers. Oh. Athos, oh. Porthos, oh. Aramis, invested oh. by those nivellers the Cardinals got. No, that's not exactly Do what... you understand the humiliation we all feel? Yes. But the humiliation you... the king himself is feeling? Yes. Our job is to defend the queen and protect the queen. But the cardinals, they are enemies. Not openly. You wouldn't dare. Just do your duty and never ever engage the cardinal directly. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So D'Artagnan, on his way to Paris, encounters various challenges and problems along, uh, along the way to Paris. And he, he eventually encounters first the captain of Cardinal's Guard, who's Rochefort. And uh, Rochefort and Milady are uh, aiding the Cardinal in his various, you know, attempts to mess things up for, for the King and eventually gain power. Constance Bonacier, the Queen's lady in waiting. Correct. That looks dangerous. <laughs> Life is dangerous, Rochefort. That's why it's fun. There, show it to the Cardinal. Perhaps he'll give you a promotion and you can eat at the grown-ups table. Now let's go. I got to know him through drama, through the Three Musketeers, and he's been helping me out a lot with my character and it's very nice because we always, before drama, we try to like talk to each other and build up our chemistry or whatever. Oh, Reverend Mother, look at these. I just picked them from the garden. Oh, aren't they beautiful? We'll put them... <clears throat> <laughs> right here in this room. It's quite an exciting day for you, isn't it? My heart is racing. It's what I've dreamed about. And we're going to miss you, you know. And I'll miss everyone. But I will come back and visit, you know. It's just that... That you are in love. <laughs> yes. Like, we needed to talk and like figure out like how are we going to do this. Even though there's on-stage chemistry, it's easier to have off-stage chemistry and that helps the play get along because like... Once you're really close to the place, person on stage, it's easier to be close to that person as well. It's a letter from the one she loves. Then it's dangerous. All matters of the heart are dangerous because hearts can break. I really must go. Wait, will I see you again? I must, please. Tonight at one o'clock. <laughs> Uh, when it comes to really developing the chemistry between Milady and myself, we rehearse together 
uh, we go to a corner away from the rest of the actors and we characterize and we take our lines. Don't worry, my dear, you'll be well taken care of. Good. You know what they say. Waste not, want not. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Milady, you're a wonderful woman. Now, what did he say? He said he has a sister in school, no less. The whole plot does revolve around what Cardinal does and what he gets me to do. So that uh, chemistry really needs to be there and we have a lot of scenes together as well. So we do spend a lot of time together trying to get that chemistry right, trying to make uh, the play flow when it comes to uh, the plot line as well. I suggested that to Rome once, but they said no. It turns out I have too many children. It seems a few all right, but a whole village is out of the question. Now, off you go, it's time for school. I believe you have a young friend to visit. Shall I kill her when I'm finished with her? Oh, my dear, I leave that entirely to your discretion. Cardinal Richelieu is the antagonist of the play, of the story. He is looking to overthrow King Louis and um, seize power for himself over the Kingdom of France. The Musketeers, primarily, their duty is to protect the king and the queen from, uh, you know, all the all the political games that is orchestrated by the Cardinal. Hello, Cardinal. Ignoring me today, are we? Not in the least, sire. I'm doubly honoured. You're looking well today. <laughs> Am I? No thanks to you. I understand your gods took advantage of my musketeer this morning. Took advantage? Now what does that mean? Again, outnumbered, then started brawling on some pretext or the other. Forgive me, your majesty, but it was my understanding that my gods were merely doing their duty. Preventing a duel, which I do believe is against the law. Is it not? What I mainly find unique about the Cardinal, as opposed to many of the other villains around, is the Cardinal, I feel he has his, uh, his evil presence, his uh, sneakiness, his uh, sort of creepiness. But also, we've tried a lot to make him not larger than life. He's still a human Cardinal with human intentions. And uh, we're still working on it, but I think that, uh, we really try to bring it out of the character. He gets frustrated, he gets angry. Uh, when nothing goes his way, it, it troubles him. But still, we maintain that sort of character where he does take in his strife, like I said before, take in his strife and continue with his plan. And that's, that's human, essentially. You do what you have to do to get what you want. And that, I think, is really unique and beautiful about the uh, character. But right now, I have another job to serve God and represent him in the state of France. It's a lot of work, but it pays the bills. Now, in order to do that job properly, I need information, right? So, D'Artagnan, I have one simple question to ask you. Answer it honestly, and you're free as a bird. Lie, and I'll have to kill you. Fair enough. Good. Well, the most challenging thing for me to play the role of Constance is probably the whole ladylike aspect to it. So all my life, I've told y'all, I've played a male character and now I have to suddenly change to this like very elegant, uh, very simple, very down to earth lady who is so like very, it's a whole new character. Here we are! <laughs> the Countess de Winter. Constance Bonacier. How do you do? How lovely to meet you. At long last. Long last? And when the others said your name, I, I thought it might be you. I've seen you at court. At court? Well, of course. Miss Bonacier is very important there. She's a lady in waiting to Queen Anne. No! Milady is very flirtatious. She's very, um, you know, she's confident. She knows she's one of the most beautiful women in France. And she knows she can, you know, just wrap a man around her finger. It's not hard for her at all. And uh, so I really need to put that on stage. I really need to play the role of a woman who can get anyone to do anything. 42 Rue d'Anges, that's where those lives. And I think they're all there together. Right now? Yes, I'm quite certain. Oh, that's quite excellent.
Helen. Come on, the day is uh, Wait. Oh, look at these first. Aren't they beautiful? They're rosary beads. That's what they look like at first, but they're much, much stronger. You can pull them as hard as you like and they won't break. Feel what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Whilst the Cardinal does have those sort of uh, stereotypical evil tropes, he also has this trope of being a bit of a creep. And uh, that isn't, you can ask anyone around me, uh, that isn't really true to myself. But then again, we are actors, we are here to pull an amazing show for y'all. So we, I, when I'm on stage, I try to be as uh, creepy and as evil as possible. Who hired you to rescue Constance Bonacier? No one, Your Grace. I just happened to meet her. Ah. Wrong answer. Ah. Shall we try it again? One more time. Who hired you? Your Grace, it's the truth. You're just ah. not getting the hang of this. And it's not difficult. Let's try another question. <coughs> Athos, Porthos and Aramis, I understand that they are friends of yours. That you assisted them last night regarding a disagreement with my personal guards? Some of the characters, you know, they have had good childhoods, good parents who have really given them a good upbringing. But Milady is not like that. She has been a thief, she's been in a cult of thieves, you know, she's been co convicted as a criminal, and she has gone through a lot of hardships in life. And uh, it's not just that she's evil just for the sake of it or just to survive, but it's, um, it's what has been inculcated into her throughout the years. And uh, when you watch the play, you will realize that she's not 100% evil and she just loves what she does. I overheard just now. I was listening. I had no idea. Who are you? I'm Sophie Delacroix. The Cardinal is my uncle. Your uncle? Why is he doing this to you? What have you done wrong? I've done nothing wrong, I promise you. He thinks I know something, but I really don't. I swear to you. You see, I bumped into this woman, literally just on the street, and she was in trouble, so I helped her out. And that's all I know. I believe you. Everyone says that my uncle is unkind, but, but I don't think so. I love my uncle. I'm sure you do. I'm a very trustable, like, sweet lady. <laughs> I can show you how, like, trust. Yeah, so loyalty yeah. and trust and... How like, yeah. Hey, you there! Stand aside. <laughs> what do you want? I want to speak with the young lady. But the young lady doesn't want to speak with you. Monsieur, if I were you, I wouldn't meddle in this. And if I were you, I wouldn't tell me what to do. Stay back. Here comes the other one. Where is she? There! You! Oh my god! It's the puppy! I should kill you, SMA! Perhaps you should have, because you'll die for it now! His commanding nature and his sharp wittedness, which I think plays out a lot because he's the chief musketeer, and uh, also the way that he leads the musketeers throughout the play. Ah! Oh dear, are you alright? Do I look alright? I'm awfully sorry, but I have to hurry. You're sorry? Yes. <laughs> and that's all you have to say? What else can I say? It was an accident. I said I'm sorry. But honestly, I've got to run. There's a man in the sky and I've got to kill him. Obviously from the country. What? What? I've arranged for her schooling. She's my daughter and I want you to read and write. And I want you to get her there and protect her on the way. But I'll look ridiculous entering Paris with a little sister. And I'll have enough to worry about without playing nursemaid. I trust, brother, that I shall be no burden to you. But rather do your bidding as you require. That's it! I'll kill him! <laughs> do you do as I ask or do you dishonor the ancient name Jatsen? As you wish, father. Fine, then I'll be off with you. Come now, Cecile. Come. What inspires me the most in my character would be uh, the way that she's able to convince anyone. 
to get what she wants. So whether it, she pretends to be their friend, she pretends to, you know, uh, help them or she seduces them or she threatens them, she scares them, but whatever it is, she always gets what she wants. Who are you? A friend who wants to get to know you better. Do you think that's possible? Madam, my affections are already engaged. By Miss Bonacier. Yes, how do Constance, you... dear Constance. Constant in love, constant in boredom. May I strongly suggest that you leave here at once? I will be happy to, but I would be very careful if I were you. As we go throughout the play, we realize not everything really goes his way, even though he is the overruling puppet master. Uh, but he takes it in strife and he takes it as uh, a slice of life. And that really is what inspires me about the Cardinal. Whatever goes wrong, whatever goes right, he's always when at the top of his game. He always, when he enters a room, he receives that sort of command, that sort of respect that is expected of the Cardinal. Whatever, whatever goes wrong. I'm sorry to interrupt your Grace, but I thought you... You fool! We competent bangla! Your Grace, please! Please what? You? No, I think I'll keep it up. It wasn't my fault. Some man came out of nowhere. He must have known in advance. That's impossible. That's what I thought, but there he was. What? Liar! What's his name? His name is D'Artagnan. I encountered him yesterday as it happened, and he had this letter in it. It's been an absolute, like, crazy, like, it's, it's very nice to work with all of you. Uh, I've never experienced something so, like, at this level. So it's a whole new level of production and drama. It's pretty fun. Your Majesty. Monsieur D'Artagnan, I... I've done something very foolish. Do you think you can help me? I can try, madam. I must warn you. This whole affair is vital to the Cardinal. If I'm exposed, he'll use it to undermine the King's authority and try to seize power for himself. I understand. I've learned a lot because I've always been an ensemble and getting the main role for the first time has uh, like taught me so many things about acting, about how deep the character can go. Joining drama was like, it gives me an opportunity to like break away from everything that's happening in life. Like when you come here, you forget everything else. And then you're just with a bunch of guys and just, you know, having fun on stage. I've been assistant director for several of the Shakespeare uh, productions in the past for the last 10 years or so. And uh, this is my uh, first full scale public production. Oh, oh, Alfred, Alfred, you're making me blush. I thought you were taking all your business. Oh, I am, my darling. The church is my life. Oh, yes, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> And the sinful world that appears before us will perish into dust like a mirage of longing. Isaiah, chapter 45. I think this time it was a bit different because I think for the first time in the history of Royal College we've had more than, more than what is considered a small number of outside invited actors. 